from the Master Director of Marshall Fitton Hall. So we'll go to the question for the audience for questions in a minute, but I want to start with my own. Um, Marcus, of all these different locations that you were filming in, what, which one kind of stands out as the most difficult? For, uh, for the crew, it was uh, the most difficult with the so-called killer bees, because we ha you have to be wrapped up really, and uh, you have to wear very heavy rubber gloves, because if they sting you in the other gloves, uh, it is a it means that the others should come and help and they attack also. So it's very warm in Australia in the desert, uh, in uh, Arizona in the desert, and uh, you have to put tapes around your uh, uh, shoes. And it was uh, dangerous, uh, difficult for the cameraman because uh, if he puts the lens on his nose, the net is touching his no nose and all the bees are uh, coming and singing in the nose, so it's not a nice place to be stuck. Uh, I'll take a question, uh, yeah, right here, young man. Uh, I was going to ask, how did you film the bees? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> we had two teams, one team was for the human side and the other team were for, was for the bee side. And uh, the, this macro team, they had special cameras which should, uh, they could shoot with uh, 70 frames or 300 frames a second. So it's a uh, 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 little slow motion or much slow motion for, for the flights. And uh, for example, one of the most difficult scenes was the mating scene of the queen. And uh, normally it takes place 30 meters high. So we knew where the drone congregation area is. The drones are flying every afternoon to wait for a queen. And they are turning around in the same place in the mountain. So we knew this place and we built up a 10 meter tower. And then with a balloon, with the smell of the queen, we Track the drones down to our level, and then uh, we could film them there. You ever heard of CGI? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, people told me to it would be it would have been much easier to make uh, 3D B. She it will not sting and make obey, and, uh, <laughs> but it's not so much fun. <laughs> Uh, question in the back in the dark glasses. Maybe just one little thing I have to say, and we had a bee whisper. <laughs> uh, we had our own bees in the, we had a macro studio in Vienna, and the bee whisper who could speak a little bit with the bees, so he brought the bees when they have doing something we were waiting for, they brought them in the studio and we could film them for two minutes. Sorry. Dark glasses. How did you find Uh, traveling around. I made the film first in my head. I was traveling uh, one year just to find all these people. And my daughter and my son-in-law in Australia, they know they have a network of uh, people and then the one hand, handed me over to the next one and uh, so they came all together. And it was important that they are different that they have uh, different characters, different goals, and uh, these contracts make the story afterwards. Do you leave some on the cutting room floor? Uh, did, 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 the question is, did you leave footage out, or is it... Yeah, see, see, were, there, ah. were there characters that you did fit in? Uh, we had 205 hours of footage, <laughs> and the film is 91. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we had... Uh, I had much more in my uh, uh, in my first year. I had a lot of other people, but then uh, for in the beginning of the filming, we had just this, and we had one beekeeper in Austria who is working with bees in the greenhouses. 
or uh, what's the red fruit you need to uh, eat in the yogurt in the morning? Strawberries. <laughs> so normally people don't uh, don't know that bees are flying in the in the greenhouses as well for the strawberries you want to eat in winter time, and it's a very hard life for the bees there. But uh, I didn't like so much the beekeeper, and uh, it was a little bit also a, a repetition of uh, what Miller is doing, only a little bit harsher. But so we, it's for the DVD bonus. <laughs>